Hello and welcome to Novo Fab Tech series. Today we will be putting casting ways on a model and then later on we will put support. So firstly, I will import the model in Rhino. I'll go to file, import and then select the model. So this will be our model for the series. Now I'm going to open it. Wait until it appears in Rhino. Now the model is in Rhino, so let's start putting the casting ways. Firstly, as you see, the model is still separated. All parts are not joined. So I will hit Ctrl A on keyboard and then type join. Wait until it joins. And now it's good. It's one piece. Okay. So, next thing you need to do is go to top. You can see the full view of the model. Next, I will grab my circle tool. Type 0. Center of circle is 0. And then, I'll just drag the circle around the model in a good size. Okay. So, click here. Next, select the circle polyline and then type pipe. So for the radius, I will use 0.8 millimeters and then press enter. So as you see, the pipe is now around the model. Go to front, select the nerves object. And then drag it up, up to here. As you see, my reference point is on this side. So I will make the connection from this part to the circle. Okay. So go to top view. Next, I will use the polyline. Click from this area, hold down shift to make it straight, and then click. On the perspective view, check, and then select the line. I will now go to front view again, and then drag the line up to the middle. Okay up to this on the perspective view while the line is selected go to pipe start of radius so make sure it's pointed I will now use 0.25 as the radius and radius will be since the size of the pipe here is uh, 0.8 I will use 0.6 and then press enter so now we have the connector from the round object to the model so make sure it's fully connected if you want you can drag it inside more like this okay go to uh, top view so we need to make copies around it. So what will we do next is select the object we did and then array polar. So center of polar is 0. It will start on 0. Number of objects, count it. So there will be 8 around it. I will put 8. And then it will be since it's round it's 360 degrees I will type 360 and then hit enter now we have the connections next we will connect this one to this one okay so while on the top view select the polyline again select from the model to the pipe 
press enter so select the line same thing what we did pipe radius will be 0.25 and radius will be 0.6 then press enter select it we will just align it perfectly so i'll just make a a bit of turn go to perspective view as you see it's not yet properly aligned yet to the model so select it and then drag it up when you drag it up you will see that it's not connecting properly to the rounded pipe make a bit of turn and then drag it down it's now properly connected to the model next select it go to top view and array polar so center of our polar is zero number of items same eight and 360 degrees because it's round and then press accept enter now as you see the model is now connected to the pipe and now we will put the supports remove the line and then select the, the model press lock the object firstly go to top select the entire object so as you see the model will not be selected because it's locked so on this part we will go to mesh from nerves object we will connect we will convert the nerves object to mesh so press ok now it's while it's selected press delete so that the nerves object will be removed so select again and then join okay so i will unlock the model now just press unlock objects select the entire model and then join them so we will go to front view to check if the height is good for putting support so it's good also for putting supports as you see uh, three to four millimeter is fine so we will proceed uh, with putting the supports so i will go to top view check with plane go to perspective and then check the first layers so this will be the first layers we will be putting supports from here now i will go to bottom view so that i can see clearly the layer that needs to be supported okay so next i will go to bell support choose the mesh and then check which size is good for su supporting this model and then the type so i will use one point so the radius is 0.4 so i guess it's a bit bigger i will reduce it to 0.3 check again now it's good so from here i will start from this point and then go around the model but i guess mirror is fine so make sure that the distance between each support is two millimeter here here around it but now i will just put half of halfway of the model and then mirror the rest that way it will be faster also okay zoom out to check
so we're almost finished and that's it next I will select the model model first hold down shift to select both of them and then lock as you see now only the supports are appearing I will select up to here because this part no need for mirror now I will mirror this part type 0 start of mirror plane and then hold down shift drag on the other side then you have the model supported from the bottom okay I will unlock all the objects and then go back to perspective view so I will continue dragging up the plane until we reach on this part so this is the casting way that we have made and it needs also support so for this one since it's for casting and then after casting will it will be removed I will not be supporting it like the ones we did at the bottom but I will make sure it will be proper so I will go to bell support choose the mesh and then enter again I will use one point support but now I will make it bigger to 0.4 I will choose here You see, I'm just uh, choosing random distance between the model and the support. So again, lock the model, select the plane and the model, and then press lock. I will select all the supports, deselect this one and this one okay i will now mirror type 0 and then hold down shift then click okay so now we have both supports on the casting way and the model so i will unlock all the objects continue dragging up again it seems okay but for the assurance purposes i will put supports around this one so that the other way, the other half going up will be supported also and it will be good. So let's go again to the bottom. Again, one point support for this part. So since, see, as you see the radius is too big for that part, I will less it again to 0.3. Okay. So now, since this is a part of the model, I will uh, again make sure that the distance between each support is 2 millimeter. So this one. okay so same procedure lock the model select the supports select the supports and mirror hold down shift select unlock all the objects so from this part we can delete the plane go to the perspective view and then there you go 
the final model with casting way and supports select all the model and the supports type in join so the model is now joined together next thing we'll need to do is export the model type here in the command line export save the model casting ways and supports for the file name hit save now it's successfully saved here is our model with casting ways and supports thank you and have a good day